Hi, I'm Vanessa Chumley, and welcome to my backyard. If you've ever had cedar plank salmon, you know it's second to none. But today, we're taking that up a notch and making cedar plank salmon tacos wrapped in grilled corn tortillas topped with fresh cabbage and some mango salsa. I just picked up everything we need from Albertsons, so stick with me and let's get grilling. I have four salmon fillets that are four ounce portions each, and then I'm gonna season them pretty heavily on the top with a mixture of ground cumin, chili powder, some garlic salt, lime zest, and then I put brown sugar in there too. It's really delicious. Now, when you're at the store, you can pick up cedar planks in the meat and seafood department right as you're getting your salmon. When you bring those home, you're gonna wanna soak them in water for one to two hours. That way they don't burn on the grill. My favorite way to do this is to just take a roasting pan, I fill it with water, then I put all my cedar planks in there and I weigh it down with a heavy mug. And after that, they're gonna be ready for the grill. Now, the cool thing about using cedar planks is you can also add another layer of flavor by putting your fish on top of fresher dried herbs or even citrus slices. So for this recipe, I like to use lime slices. The other great thing about that is though, sometimes you get your salmon with the skin on. If you put that right on the cedar plank, it can kind of have the tendency to stick. So by using lime slices, you prevent that sticking from happening. And our salmon's ready for a medium high grill. My rule is to grill fish nine minutes for every inch of the thickest part of the fish. But to be totally honest, I start to check it at 15 minutes because I think a slightly underdone salmon is much better than an overcooked one. So then I like to use Carlita's corn tortillas and I put them on the grill just for that added grill flavor the last couple minutes that my salmon are cooking. So our last step is gonna be to shred our salmon with a fork and then we can assemble our tacos. After I flaked our salmon, I like to top it with a sweet mango salsa. Now here's a secret, you don't have to make your own mango salsa. It's pre-made, ready to go for you in the fresh cut section. And you end up with fresh and healthy tacos that are gonna be really flavorful. I love serving this with pre-made shrimp ceviche from the meat and seafood department. For this recipe and more great grilling tips, visit albertsons.com.